The New York Jets, number three overall. Apparently, we're trying to trade out, but have selected Quinnen Williams, who a lot of people think Matt Verderam is the best player in this draft. This is, uh, this is a double down for the Jets, who are now awful, awful tough in the interior. Yeah, they are. They have Leonard Williams and Quinnen Williams. They need to get some edge help at some point. Uh, but look, once Nick Bosa went off the board, I understand why they went the way they did. It was probably a choice for them between Williams, Josh Allen, the outside linebacker out of Kentucky, and then, of course, Ed Oliver, DT over Houston. Williams dominated in the SEC, the best player on arguably the best defense alongside Clemson. I, I can't knock the pick in any way. If you're the Jets, you upgraded the offense this offseason. You got Coletio Assembly, you got Le'Veon Bell, you got Jameson Crowder. The defense, you added C.J. Mosley. You need to keep him clean with a good D tackle in front of him. Now you add Quinn Williams. I think they did just that. To, to me, this was the best player in the draft. You, you, a guy who's going to disrupt an entire defense from the interior, you build a defense around that. And there's just not a lot of these guys that come along. And I granted, he only had one year uh, dominating, but he, he dominated and he lived in the backfield. No, he's a great player. Great college player anyway. And he should translate... You'll look at his height and weight, 6'3", 303 pounds, and he ran a 4'8", 40. That's an athlete. That's a guy who can play. It matches with what the tape looks like. Look, I think Quinnen Williams is a home run pick for the Jets. He's somebody who should immediately slot in and really give them a presence alongside uh, Leonard Williams, who they drafted a few years back out of USC. So I like the pick quite a bit. I think it's a good move. And now the Jets, look, they, they don't have a second-round pick. So that hurts them a little bit. But they're going to have to find some other guys in this draft to add on to. But Williams is a great start. I'm a big fan of leadership, too. Quinnen Williams routinely, reportedly, would call team meetings and would get guys on the defense like, hey, come on, let's get in here, let's watch some extra tape. This is a guy that uh, was doing it on the field, was doing it off the field. That helps any locker room. And he's, uh, he's giving Roger a big hug right now. Yep. Hey, he is a tremendous, tremendous player. I think, alongside, for me, alongside Bosa and Ed Oliver, I thought they were the three best players in the draft. Jets get him at three. Last year, they get Sam Darnold in the draft in the first round at three. So if you're, if you're a Jets fan, you've got to feel really good about where this program's headed. Now, look, they've got to put it together, but this is a team that's a lot more talented than it was a year ago, and some people legitimately thought they might be a team that two years ago they thought might go one in 15. So, making a lot of steps in the right direction. I think they're going to compete for a playoff spot. And shout out to Quinnen uh, and his family. This is a guy who lost his mom at the age of 12 years old, yes. which unfortunately I can relate to. I had the same thing happen to me. That is not easy in life for somebody to rise up, get himself to school, get himself into the NFL with that obstacle. That's a big, big time Great achievement. Great job by him. him. Yeah, absolutely. So, congratulations to Quinnen and congratulations to the New York Jets. Quinnen Williams, your number three overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft.